In today's video, we're gonna be comparing and contrasting the cost of braces, weddings, and college tuition to the same amount of dollars worth of silver and gold. And I'm also doing a giveaway in the VIP club. It ends on May 1st. Join before then to automatically get entered. Link in the description. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also gold and how much of the precious metals we could get with the cost of college tuition. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today is Sunday. April 25th, 2021 is currently 61 degrees outside. Very cloudy. Look at this sad, depressing look of day we're having. Once again, I'm outside because why be inside when you can be outside? I'm enjoying the fresh air. Current spot price of silver as I'm recording the video is $25.97. And the current spot price for gold is $17.76. Excellent year, by the way. And 90 cents. Of course, it is Sunday, so spot price is locked in place. Tonight, we're going to get a little bit of insight for what this upcoming week is going to bring us. And we're going to get even more information starting tomorrow morning. So today I had a pretty interesting idea for a video. I went on to Google and I typed in average cost of because I wanted to see if it would fill in the blanks to let me know the questions that other people are asking. People who are wondering the average cost of this or the average cost of that. And the three top search results from when I type that in, I'm going to put it up here on screen. I know it's a little bit blurry, but braces, weddings, and college. So I thought it would be pretty interesting to calculate the average cost of these things and figure out just how much silver or just how much gold we could get with that amount of dollar bills. So first up, let's talk about braces. According to this article right here, the average cost of braces is anywhere from $5,000 to $6,000. So let's be fair and meet right in the middle and call it $5,500. If we were to take 5500 bucks and divide it by the current stack price of silver. Notice I said stack price, not spot price. Stack price is spot plus about five. So it rounds it up to about $31, give or take. So we could take that $5,500 and divide it by 31 bucks, which would bring us to 177 ounces of silver it's a pretty decent amount of silver not all that much but it's 177 more ounces than the average joe has stacked up that's for sure and then as for gold current spot price is a little under 1800 bucks so we can round it up to let's just say 1900 and if we were to take that 5500 dollars and divide it by 1900 dollars it would equate to about 2.8 troy ounces of gold similar to silver it's not a whole lot but it is a whole lot more than the average person has stacked up now what's funny about braces and i've never had experience with braces i've never had braces before my teeth are pretty decent they're fine they could be a little bit straighter in fact ever since i was a teenager i remember saying that if i ever got rich the only thing i would waste my money on would be fixing my teeth. And by that I meant just making them straighter. I don't know why, I just wanted straighter teeth. Now I'm a little bit older and I no longer care. My teeth do the trick, it is what it is. Moving away from braces, let's talk about weddings. Now this is something that was news to me. I'm gonna put up an article right here that says that the average cost of a wedding is $33,900. That's a lot of currency. That's a lot of fiat. That's pretty expensive for just a celebration of love and togetherness. So if we were to take 
that $33,900 and divide it by the stack price of silver, 31 bucks, it would bring us to 1,093 troy ounces of silver. It's a pretty decent pile of silver right there. That's a pile of silver that's almost on the verge of a mountain of silver. In the quadruple digits, surpassing a thousand troy ounces? Pretty decent amount of silver there. Now what about gold? How much gold could we get if we had $33,900? Well, if we were to divide that by about 1900 bucks, that would give us 17.8 troy ounces of gold. That's a pretty decent amount of gold. It's a whole lot more gold than I have. That's a whole lot more gold than a lot of us have. I would take 17.8 ounces of gold over a wedding any day of the week. Now, similar to what I just said about braces and how I had no experience with them, same can be said about a wedding because I've never had to pay for a wedding before because I've never been married. But what's different about braces and weddings for me is that I used to actually want braces. I've never wanted to get married and I can assure you, I will not get married. I'm a big believer in marriage. I'm very pro-marriage for other people, not for me. Now, moving away from weddings and braces, let's talk about college tuition. Let's talk about the priciest on this list. According to this article right here, the average cost of college tuition, school year, is $20,770. That's for one school year. Keep in mind, if you're going to go to college, you're probably going to college for four years. So it's not $20,770. It's $83,080. That's a lot of dollars. That's a pretty expensive piece of paper. It's a pretty hefty price tag. Just to take some notes for a couple of years and get virtually no experience, considering pretty much every single college graduate on the planet doesn't get any experience until their internship and time on the actual job. Now, this is coming from the perspective of somebody who just spent the last couple of years in college. I know a thing or two about just how expensive college is nowadays, because I've been through it. And guess what? I have a grand total of zero dollars and zero zero cents worth of student loan debt because I never had any student loans to begin with. Not one penny borrowed to fund my education. I was paying out of pocket. So I've been there. I know what it's like. I know how brutal it can be. So if we were to take that 83080 bucks and divide it by the current stack price of silver, $31, it would bring us to 2,680 troy ounces of silver. That right there sounds like a mountain of money, a mountain of wealth. 2,680 troy ounces of silver. Can you imagine having 2,680 silver eagles or silver maples? or silver rounds, or silver bars, even if they were in larger denominations. Imagine having that much silver. That is nowhere near how much silver a lot of us have. In fact, that would be 2,680 troy ounces of silver more than 99.999% of the population. But what about gold? $83,080? Divided by 1900 bucks would bring us to 43.7 troy ounces of gold. Can you imagine holding on to 43.7 ounces of gold? And funny enough, even though we know just how valuable that is, by physically looking at 43.7 ounces of gold, it's really not that much. It doesn't take up really any room at all. Two 20-ounce gold bars or a kilo bar and a 10-ounce gold bar would be almost the equivalent to 43.7 ounces of gold. That's not very much. 
you can fit 43.7 ounces of gold in your pocket. That's not very much. So it really goes to show just how powerful gold could be because the equivalent to that amount of gold in silver, according to today's spot price, or should I say stack price, would be 2,680 troy ounces of silver. Imagine trying to put that much silver in your pocket. Imagine trying to move all that silver in just one trip, moving it from one place to another. You wouldn't be able to do it. That's a lot of silver. And guess what? It weighs a whole lot as well. That's one of the plus sides to gold over silver is that it's easier to store, it's easier to move, easier to hide, it's easier to transport. I mean, think about it. Almost 3,000 ounces of silver could be tough to hide, could be pretty heavy, could take up a little bit of room, but 43.7 ounces of gold, you could stick that in an old shoe and no one would ever even know. It takes up so much less room. So when it comes to silver and when it comes to gold, they obviously have their pros and their cons. And the way I see it is that if you're stacking both of the metals, if you're stacking silver and you're stacking gold, of course they'll have their pros and their cons, but each of their pros, in a way, outweigh the other one's cons and essentially cancel them out. That's just in my opinion, by the way. It's from my perspective. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. Obviously, don't avoid getting braces. Don't refuse to get married and don't drop out of college because of this video if you want braces if you want to get married if you want to go to college be my guest that's not what this video is about this is just a light-hearted fun video comparing and contrasting the price tag of this right here to the fiat currency price tag of silver and gold if you have any other ideas or suggestions of things that i could compare to the value of silver and gold Head on down to the comments and let me know. Maybe the price of a certain car, a house, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let me know in the comments anything and everything related to today's video topic and comparing the price of random miscellaneous things to the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. Exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I'm also doing giveaways. I have one going on right now. Join before May 1st to automatically get entered. That's all you have to do. Simply become a VIP club member. Discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Or you can hit the subscribe button like Masvidal hit the canvas last night. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Just posted one last night about how tech stocks could be in trouble. One about the tech stock sell-off. One about recovery stocks. One about the credit card crackdown. And a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000. And I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. 
And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. Everything that I shared in today's video, comparing and contrasting the stack price of silver and gold to braces, weddings, and college tuition. If you had to choose between a full ride college scholarship, four years, you don't have to worry about anything, opportunity of a lifetime, or a pile of silver and gold worth the same amount of dollar bills as what tuition would cost. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.